Yes, sir, baby. Hope you are doing well. Today is January 26, 2023. Welcome back to another video. We have playoff promo with part three that came out. We got new 96 overall players. We also got new LTD. So we're going to take a look at all that. We also got new reduxes. Unfortunately, we did not get train variety packs this time. They did not drop them. I thought they were going to because typically when we get new reduxes, we do get train variety packs. And the reason being is because reduxes are insanely hard to pull. But we're going to do a video tomorrow trying to go after some redux. Now we're probably going to have a pack opening. But today we got 662,000 training that we're going to go ahead and open. Do we go back to back weeks with another ltd if you like the video make sure you like the video comment down below as well if you're going to cop any of these new 96s we're going to sub man it's free for you does not cost you a thing neither is our love goal is 10,000 subs by the end of the year if not hit that sub button already man i definitely appreciate it we got the conference championship predictions so make sure you guys put your predictions in let me know in the comments below what you guys are going to be doing for the predictions you think Bengals are being the chief think 49ers are being the Eagles? i don't know who's going to win the chiefs and Bengals game man patty m is supposedly have a high ankle sprain but he's looking just fine and they got 49ers and eagles i think the 49ers are going to win that one but let me know in the predictions below who do you think is going to be taking over this week all right so let me try to figure out who are the new ones uh alan fanica is a new one left guard i mean people just spend a lot of money on bruce matthews and this car is just as good 95 strength 93 awareness 97 pass block with a 96 run block very good he does get steelers theme team as well he is 6'5 is a lot cheaper than bruce matthews so that is a dub andre reed gets an upgrade his first card i think he had a legend piece when it first dropped an 89 overall so he gets a 96 96 speed 94 jump 95 catch 96 catch in traffic 95 spec 95 short 94 medium and 96 deep route running very soft Solid card man 6-2 as well. Uh, Andre will be getting bills, I think. Broncos as well, and maybe commanders. Uh, you guys let me know. All big Andre Reed fans out there, but he was an absolute goon. Uh, we have Juju Smith Schuster. A little upgrade for him. 96 overall. He's got 95 speed, 98 jump, 96 catch, 94 catch in traffic, 95 spec, 93 short, 94 medium, and 92 deep route running. He'll get Chiefs and Steelers as well. So Chiefs are getting some love on this drop. Same as Steelers, since with Alan Fanica, you get Juju as well. He is 6-1. Hey, let me know if you rock him. If you're running the Chiefs deep team, if he's good. I'm pretty sure he's probably going to be good on a Chiefs theme team more than likely, but that honestly might be it. And then there was one more. I think it was Kurt Warner. He got a car too. He should be a Cardinal. I don't think he's going to be a Ram. He is. He's going for about 700K. Wow, this card's very expensive. He is one of the two LTDs, so that's probably why he is a little bit more. For some reason, I thought he was one of the normal 96s, but he is the LTD. 81 speed, 97 throw power, 93 short, 95 medium. He's going to have 96 deep as well as 97 throw under pressure, 86 on the run, 91 play action. Not a bad card at all. He does get Gen 3 release as well, and he's going to get Arnolds and Rams, I think, are the only two teams he played for. I'm pretty sure that's all of them for the offensive side. Moving over to defense, Von Bell is a new one 96 overall 95 speed 96 excel 95 tackle 91 play rec 88 pursuit 91 man 97 zone and 94 hit power uh Bengals defense has been pretty good too with von bell mike hill and both of those are shining and he is 511 strong safety so he's gonna be good for a Bengals theme team we also have hassan reddick he finally gets an upgrade a lot of people are asking for this card and he's gonna give, be getting one 94 speed 97 excel 82 strength 92 tackle 90 player 91 block 81 power and 96 finesse move pretty solid card he is a speed rusher archetype as well so his off the edge is gonna be disgusting people that run a uh, Eagles theme team are going to love this card. And uh, I think he gets Cardinals as well. So Cardinals are getting a couple love on this one too. And then I believe this is the last one they have on defense side. Chris McAllister, the other LTD. 96 speed, 95 excel, 92 agility, 97 jump, 92 player act, 96 man, 96 zone, and 93 press. Very good. We're going to open the 86 plus, man. We got the two LTDs in here. Chris McAllister uh, apparently going around is very, very expensive. He's going for almost a million coins. Because he's super rare to pull. Last week, we got lucky with Justin Reed. And uh, I did a couple of these offline. Again, they don't seem that good at all. I, I feel like if you bought your training for kind of cheap, you might be able to recoup some coins back. But it's really not a bad way to just quick sell. We're going to get 91 Trey Hendrickson. It's really not a bad way to just kind of quick sell and keep rolling. That's what I've noticed that's been most profitable. Sometimes when I roll 100,000 training, it literally takes me 30 minutes to lose it all. Because I'm just sitting there constantly re-rolling. I will lose it eventually. But if you're really just trying to chase like Chris McAllister, since he's very expensive, or the other LTD. We're going to go ahead and rip this. I, I, I'm going to probably do this whole thing right out wanted to do like half a mil which is about 100 packs look about 120 140 packs obviously i got to make 600,000 trading back um, i've only pulled 296s ever doing this i put multiple millions in here i pulled an ltd and i pulled a champ bailey that's it so it's very very rare to pull any type of 93 91 seemed to be fine now as hayden hurst we get him there it's very rare to pull any type of 93s 96s are super rare too so if you get a man just, just take your coins and walk away honestly 86 Drop a comment below if we're going to go over under 0. 0.596. I think we're going to get 196. I hope. I think we're going to get... It's not going to be an LTD. I feel like it's going to be one of the champions. And then let me know if we're going to go over under one and a half 93 overalls. I think we're going to get... I feel like I'm going to go under on those 93s. I feel like are so rare to pull. Pretty much anything 93 plus is just rare to pull. But let me know what you think in the comments below.
a few moments later we're in a little bit of a slump right now we got the 91s we i think we got like what two or three 91 so far we're about almost 100k and we're gonna get another 91 Kadarius tony uh, again i'm really surprised that they didn't drop train variety packs i thought for today for sure they were gonna do it just because we got new reduxes and whenever we get new reduxes they drop train variety pack um, i don't know when they're gonna come back if they're ever gonna come back i feel like we need those man a lot of people have already left madden it's just not fun especially these rerolls the last couple weeks have been absolutely miserable or any type of packs have been very bad especially the market's not holding value whatsoever but even if you wanted to go rip packs, it's good if you're trying to buy like cheap players as we're gonna get another 91. But if you get any type of packs, man, or you try to go and get stuff like that, it's just, it, they just don't hold value at all. Mark is just absolutely torched. So any variety packs will definitely help it out. It just depends. We're gonna get back to back 91s. Just depends when they add them. They honestly might wait till maybe after the playoff promo to add them back in, or maybe after team of the year. I don't know. I know team of the year this year has been pushed out till March, which is kind of okay. I personally don't mind that. Usually team of the year is pretty quick after team of the week's done is when they add it. So we're gonna get another 91. But this year, team of the year is pushed out till March, which which I think the voting for it comes February. So, I mean, we get to vote for it, which is pretty dope. I think they did that last year as well, but they'll drop it in March, which they could push like almost 99 overalls. I think, I think by March, we should have 98s at least. It would be cool if all the team of the year players were 99s. That's actually a dub. Wow, we got a 93. Holy frick. I saw a 93, but well, this is surprisingly has been a pretty solid roll, right? We have at least like five or six 91s, which is like 15,000 training each. We got the 93, which is 33,000. So I'm honestly like up right now in training, I think. That's the key word, I think. But I, I, either that I'm broken even, which... If you do a whole roll of these and you break even, man, or if you lose like a little bit, that's fine. You get another 91. Ooh, 93 Osa. We'll take that. I mean, I was just saying 93 is a really hard to pull. If you set over on one and a half 93s, congratulations. You were successful with the bet. Now let's just see if we can get any 96s. I'm doing really well, I think. And I hate, I hate jinxing it. I feel like they do feel a little bit better than what they have in the past, but I feel like it's just maybe a good roll too. It, it's really hard to, to say if they've been boosted or if they've been nerfed you really have to put a decent amount i feel like when you when packs are nerfed you can definitely feel it when they're boosted i think it takes a little bit of time to actually feel that effect let me know what you guys look at first when you open a pack what's the first thing you check for when you get the card you know if it's good or not do you look at the overall right away do you look at the card do you look at the player do you look at the name what's the first thing your eyes go to for me i'm an overall kind of guy i'll immediately look up into the right corner and see if it's an 88 86 and once i see it's a good one like a 93 then i'll branch off and see what card it is if it's a 96 i'll branch off and see what it is at that point so my brain can function that's what i look for right away i'm immediately looking at the overall and then kind of going from there 93 reggie of course we'll take it man dude three 93s we've had like five to 791s that's already back like almost 200k back like we are doing okay right now we honestly might break even pretty much to break even i need the same thing to hit that we just got in in the back end of it right i need some 393s and a bunch of 91s dude that sounds so hard to do if i pull 196 i'll probably make profit honestly a few moments later last time i saw you i like 300,000. now i'm like almost 250 all 86s that's probably at least 10 to 15 packs in a row of 86s man this you just got to keep your mouth shut at this point once you start doing good if the ea gods hear you man they are just gonna bring you down this is where you start losing training man when you start getting these slumps real quick there we go 88 we'll take that i mean i think it's 88 pretty much a break even i think i think you lose like 400 training 86 is the one that kill you that's what's good about this reroll. honestly is it's cheap right and, and rolling in 86 you only lose half of it it does take you a little bit longer to lose however it, it's just the pool rates are terrible man it's been like this the whole the whole time they've been now and i think next week we will have pro bowl so we might have like a pro bowl promo i don't think they're gonna do part four after that we'll have the super bowl promo that's when if you got the uh, super bowl bundle the 99 overall we'll get the first 99 which is probably gonna be brock purdy I'm telling you right now if brock purdy really does it where he comes into the league wins out the rest of the season absolutely crushes it and wins out and wins the super bowl i'm gonna lose my mind Ooh, finally, Tyron Smith. We'll take that 93 overall. That definitely helps. I mean, that takes a big chunk of it. That's what's good about it, right? I mean, I just went through 120,000 of just pulling 86 and 80. That 193 covers a fourth of what I just spent. That's why I mean, like, if you can get lucky and hit some 91, 93s pretty frequently, you can make this reroll last quite some time if you're just sitting here rerolling, trying to go for LTDs. All right, we're back in bangers territory. We got about 100,000 left. Oh, well, since we pulled a 93 again, it's just nothing but 86s in a row. I want to say right now we're probably down. I want to say we're down probably... 50,000 training at least. I don't, we honestly might be broken evens. We're going to get 91 map rate up. But we had that strong slump of a bunch of 91s. We got about four 93s, which is 120K back. We might be down like 50 to 100K, but that's what kind of sucks about these rerolls is I think I'm doing good. And when I go reroll it and go check how much training, I've lost like 150K. I'm definitely curious to see what we're going to end with. And honestly, I mean, I've had this training for probably like three or four weeks already. I had about a mil on this account and I've been just slowly getting rid of it, like doing rerolls for AKA, doing rerolls for this. Um, I got super lucky as we get 91. I got super lucky on monday I haven't seen i got back-to-back 96s and then like two packs later i got another 96 so 
I, I sold my 296s in the LTD and I was able to get back like 90% of my training back on top of that because I got a decent amount of 93s. I think I only paid like 100,000 training for those three cards, but we were making, so we're definitely making this training last. I was trying to hold it for train variety packs, but who knows when it's going to happen, man. I think people are slowly starting to just get rid of their training at this point. 91 Jake Elliott, we'll take that. One time, there we go. 91 Everson McPherson. We kind of went crazy. I got like two or three 91s this last like 50,000 training. We can do it like four more times, I think. We probably lost. I think I started with six something, right? 630, 650. If I can get like above 600K back, that's huge. Even if it's like 575, 86, we can do it two more times. But again, I personally am sick of this promo. I do not want anything to do with it. I don't want anything to do with these rerolls. Hopefully we get backyard ballers soon. Those rerolls are sick. Hopefully TVPs come back so we can go ahead and do Redux Hunters again, man. Redux Hunters just on a standstill until we get the train variety packs back, man. Anyway, with the 86, look at the binder. Uh, this one's 33,000. We're sitting about 285. And then if we quick sell all the 91 pluses, we're sitting about... 312,000. So lost about maybe 50,000, like 40 to 50,000 training, which isn't terrible. I'm just going to hang on to this. I should honestly just sold my 93 pluses, but it is what it is. We try, man. If you like the video, make sure you like the video. Do not forget to sub on the way out. Stay happy, sell the guys. Tell your mommy, tell your daddy. Catch you guys on next video.